Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to show you how to bleed the brakes on your motorcycle from completely dry. These are the tools you need. The vacuum pump is not necessary. I will show you two ways, one with and one without special tools. Start with removing the lid on the fluid reservoir by unscrewing the two screws. Remove the rubber piece as well, but take a look at how it was installed. Then fill it up, but make sure you don't spill any fluid, because the fluid will remove the paint on your chassis. Then what I did here is play around with the lever that some air is coming out. You can see a lot of bubbles are coming out already. Then put the 8mm key on the bleeding screw and crack it open. Then install the vacuum pump with a catch can and start to pump. Again, this is the way with special tools. The second way is with no high fancy special equipment. Here you can see the level of the fluid is dropping. Attention, don't let it drop below the suction hole. This way you get air in the system and this is not, I repeat, not what you want. Then just repeat the process by pumping and filling up the reservoir. You can stop pumping if you see no more bubbles are coming out. If you can see no more bubbles are coming out, then you know you've completed the bleeding of a brake. With that, don't prefer this process, because a fake air can come into the tube, and then you don't know if the system is fully bled. Just close the bleeding screw and disconnect the tube. Oh, and uh, don't forget to fill up and close the reservoir. Luckily your motorcycle has two brakes, so I can show you the other way. I would recommend this way, because it's easy, don't need special tools, and you have better control of the bleeding. So start with removing the screws on the reservoir. Here you can see that it is completely empty. Then fill it up. Put the 8mm key on the bleeding screw and connect the tube to it. I just use the same container to catch the fluid 
but nothing is attached to it. The process is pretty simple. Just pump three or four times and then hold pressure on the brake. After that you open and close the bleeding screw. This way any pressure can be released and flushed through the system. Now you can see the reservoir is already empty. It's very important to keep an eye on And of course, if it is empty, just fill her up. Here you can see the fluid is already coming into the tube. Just repeat the process until the bubbles are gone. Hey, but it's not a joke. All bubbles have to be out. And then if you see no more bubbles, close the breathing screw and disconnect the tube. After that, fill her up one last time and close the reservoir. Voila! You successfully bled the brakes on your motorcycle. Now you can do some badass wheelies and break the shit out of it. So, thanks for watching, please leave a like and see you next time.